Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really, really appreciate it. My name is Gabby. I'm a sales consultant here at Northside Mitsubishi. And today I have a quick walk around video for you all. It's going to be in our stunning recent trade. And this one here is our 2018 Mazda 3 Sportback. This one here is a hatchback. So it's actually a very nice car. This one is standard. So it is a manual transmission, guys. It's five speed manual transmission. It actually drives really amazing. Personally, I, I'm not the best at manual, but lots of these cars that we've been getting in are super easy to drive. And so I'm very thankful thankful for that this one does also have a backup camera so does come in handy first things first underneath the hood we do have a 2.0 liter four cylinder engine it is going to be super amazing on gas especially because it's manual for some reason i've heard this a lot and i hope it's true uh, but manuals actually save you on gas it actually is also cheaper on insurance if for those of you who don't know now you know learn how to drive manual there's a lot to perks to it because a lot of people don't drive it it's super rare as well but you actually get better deals because Again, most people don't drive them, so they put the cars listed for cheaper. Hint, hint, would wink, wink. Underneath, you are going to have your fog lights here, and then you do have your daytime running headlamps. These are high-legion headlamps. And then you have little tiny fog lights underneath for extra light exposure. We're also sitting on 16-inch black painted alloy wheels, and these would be with your all-season tires, guys. And then taking a nice quick look of this stunning hatchback. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of hatchbacks, but I really, really like this one. It's a 2018, has good features, has good cargo space. One thing I don't typically like about Mazda is the beak, I like to call it, but this one, it actually suits it, I find. And you do have a ton of cargo space, even though it looks, you know, not the best. We're gonna have a look at it right now. There's actually a lot of room back here awesome and then of course like i mentioned you have your backup camera just underneath the mazda logo we're gonna take a look at this beautiful cargo space as well so open it up as you can see a ton of cargo space you have your cargo shade as well cargo cover so that way no one can peep into what's inside your trunk uh but like i mentioned for a hatchback like i've had a nissan I, or um, hyundai kona in here before as well and it's it's more of a compact suv th rather than a hatchback but this has way more room than than the kona for example right and then these are just mats that go with your vehicle. Underneath the mats, you are going to have your spare tire and tire jack equipment for any roadside emergencies. And now we're going to take a look at the front for further features. Okay, guys. So again, taking a look into this Mazda, uh, we have about 185,000 kilometers, 842. Not the worst. It is a 2018. Has been a lot of highway miles, but still in great condition, guys. On a steering wheel here, we're going to have our Bluetooth interface on the left-hand side. We're going to also have cruise control on the right-hand side here. And then with Mazda, it is a bit different. Like they don't really like you can use the touchscreen, but they actually have this knob that is in all of their vehicles, which I find pretty cool. Uh, this helps with distracted driving, right? So you're not distracted so you can use the knob just twisting it and you can kind of click where you want to be right it also has buttons so if you want to just go straight to audio it's going to take me straight to audio which i already am there and then navigation let's see about that we don't actually have navigation equipped guys but just to show you what's in this vehicle right taking a further look again it is cool because i mean you can still use the touch screen but it's not necessarily like mass that prefers that you use this right because in newer models they actually the touchscreen doesn't work which i find kind of strange but i personally like touchscreens this is very cool though you keep your hands kind of off the wheel so it's not the worst underneath we have our climate control settings as well so this one it was blasting it's freezing in here our keys of course and of course you're gonna have your aux cord you have your usb ports if you want to plug in your phone android or apple carplay guys and then like i mentioned five speed manual transmission super cool as well let me show you the backup camera you're actually gonna we're gonna take it out of right neutral push it down and then reverse is just up oh, oh. got it guys <laughs> we are in reverse now again i'm not the most experienced manual driver but i can get to and from so do not worry, this car is in great hands. Um, so yeah, reverse backup camera, as you can see, just I wanted to show you. So again, for reverse, you are gonna push it, right? Push it down, out of reverse, right? So to get into reverse, we're gonna push it down to the left, okay? Got that. And we're just gonna park up, electric parking brake, of course. And then these are, again, your knobs for the touchscreen. And then you have this nice looking shielded cup holders. I really like that. And again, this is just a nice quick look of our stunning 2018 Mazda 3 Sport hatchback. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it.